Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, Pete Game. All right, man, so um, there is some video footage of Aerosmith sparring, and um, it's starting to, you know, make its circulation around, you know, the boxing circuit. You know, I've seen the footage. I sent it to some people, you know. Uh, you know, Blue seen the footage. Ego seen the footage. You know, Goodfella TV seen, seen the footage. 7 8 saw the footage. Some other people. And, um... You know, I'm just going to talk about the footage from what I saw. You know, from what I saw, um, I saw some things I didn't like. But at the end of the day, it's sparring. And that's why you spar with people similar that have a style similar to the guy that you're going to fight. So you can be able to prep yourself for, you know, what you're going to be facing. You know, um, I've always had this little critique of Errol Spence that a lot of people didn't say it about Errol Spence but you know I'm not going to go into deep detail because whenever you give a assessment of Errol Spence his uh, fanatics get overexcited and they get too too personal and emotional and stuff just like I put the video up about what Blair the Flair Cobb said and then you had some um, oversensitive emotional Tito Jackson dude come on there oh well who is he who is he didn't fault? Like, dude, all he's doing is giving his assessment of the fight. He's a boxer. That's what he's supposed to do. I mean, good grief. And like I said before, um, don't bring that shit on my channel no more because it's zero tolerance for that. Like I said, if you can't talk like an adult, you're not going to be on my fucking channel. We all can disagree or agree slightly agree slightly disagree but at the end of the day i'm not i'm not putting up with that over emotional stuff i'm not putting up with that real trash bad shit being just over sensitive and super emotional over a nigga you don't even know you know you know but yeah i looked at the sparring i saw some things that i didn't like am i like bothered by it are worried about it not really because i'm still picking Errol spence to win this fight you know hopefully if it is a fight because if manny keep having these open workouts then <laughs> we already know where this is headed because i know y'all heard what happened to nunez so I don't know why Errol Spence team ain't sent a, a, a letter to Manny Pacquiao saying, hey man, you need to go in the bubble. Because it's too much on the line. And it really is. So, you know. But yeah, I'm not going to make too much of the sparring. I mean, it's at, at the end of the day, um, it's just sparring. Unless your, uh, unless your name is Tyson Fury, who allegedly got, you know, dropped in sparring and he got and he got knocked out on his feet in sparring. So, yeah, if you Tyson Fury, then I guess you should be worried. But, um, you know, I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. I'm not going to oh, my gosh, Errol Spence is in trouble. But I saw some things I didn't like that he needs to correct. Like I said, I just saw Manny Pacquiao fight lots of times. At the end of the day, this is still Manny Pacquiao. 42 two years old or not, this is still Manny Pacquiao. So, that's all I got to say. I'm not going to make a big deal out of this bar. And I know there's going to be some people that's going to see the footage. And they're going to just over-exaggerate. They're going to say, oh, Errol Spence is doomed. He's going to get... I mean, you know. So, I'm just saying... This is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.